All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back. Uh, my name is Zach Vitter, and uh, I'm I'm bringing another video to the tutorial video stream. The, the the stream the thing that I've been making this whole time, all these videos. Streaming 101 with Zach Vitter. Yeah, I'm back to bring you guys another video, which I think is gonna be killer because it breaks down uh, some stuff that I've seen with the new OBS update. OBS uh, has updated their um, their program to. Uh, include a new way to capture your gameplay or to stream with with their new encoder NVENC X264 new. It is a brand new encoder and it is oof, it's got some stuff that you guys are going to want to see because there's a lot of benefits uh, in terms of using this encoder over um, using X264 on its own. And the biggest thing is that now you don't have to struggle to go purchase a high-end expensive CPU processor to get yourself a really good quality stream. Now with this new NVENC encoder, you have a lot more flexibility in terms of your uh, your stream and what and the quality you can pump out. This is huge. I feel like I just I looked at this and I'm gonna show you guys some tests uh, right now to kind of go over the differences between the two. I've always used my CPU to stream off of. It's always been, you know, I, th I think I started out with a four core processor, then I went to like an, uh, a six core processor, and now I'm sitting at a 10 core processor with the, uh, the 6950X processor from Intel. It's an i7, um, and I bought it about two, almost two years ago now, and I'm still using it today, and it is pumping out all the quality that you guys see here in this video as well as uh, my streams. Having a higher uh, core CPU doesn't always mean better, but in this case, I, I went through and did a lot of research and found out that this CPU, the 6950X, was really beneficial when overclocked to stream at a high encoding preset. So I used to stream at 900p at the slow preset. I ended up bumping that up to 1080p and I bumped the speed to medium now keep in mind that medium is higher or faster than slow and as you go faster your quality takes a dip so as i bring that up one notch i take a little bit of hit on the quality but i was able to bump up to 1080p rather than just having uh 900p 900p 60 is a great streaming resolution i just wanted to go full 1080 and uh to do so i had to lower i had to speed up my uh my encoder my preset to medium instead of slow because uh, even my CPU can't handle uh, slow with everything I have running on my stream PC. So the big thing is that this new encoder called NVENC H264 new, this is the new thing to get you guys some really cool recording capabilities as well as streaming. Um, if you guys have seen my, pre uh, my previous videos, I stream at like 8,400 bit rate. And if I set all this to max high, I use the look ahead. I'll go over that in a second. Um, and up these B frames at the max, which I think is four. Um, this quality is actually mind blowingly good. And not only that, but the GPU that this is. So basically when you use the NVENC, you are using your GPU to stream off of not your CPU which frees up a lot of capabilities. I always max out my CPU usage, and that means if I open up any sort of Windows browser or anything on my stream PC while I'm live, uh, my, my PC takes a huge hit because I'm already using between 70 to 100% of my CPU usage while streaming. And that's because of so much usage from OBS to encode the video and then send it off to Twitch. This new GPU uh, encoder is substantially very interestingly good. I've never been one to promote using NVENC just because it was always uh, considered the, the lower quality version of streaming. It allows specifically for um, people that have a single PC setup to only have to utilize their, their single PC with their GPU. Uh, to stream with and that way their CPU can handle their all the tasks like having a couple browsers open for music and some other programs maybe and maybe your alerts are up on one screen your chat and all that stuff this now frees up a lot of room for you to have more tasks open more everything for a single PC stream setup as well as if you have a dedicated stream PC my GPU in my stream PC I've done some tests and bear with me, my GTX 970 is what is inside my stream PC. And you guys know this because with a stream PC, with a, uh, uh, if you're running on X264, 
which is the CPU encoder, you do not need a GPU to stream with. Uh, all you really need is a CPU that's good enough. Now with my 970 and doing some tests, I'm about to show you guys some crazy shit <laughs> that blew me away when I watched it. So uh, let's get right into it. I'm gonna show you guys this quick little video I made here and let you guys fully dive into the quality differences. And I, I went through and pixel peeked every little section of this video. And there's a little bit of a twist at the end that kind of threw me off. And I'm, I'm still kind of confused and I might have to do some more tests. With this new preset, you are gonna get some really good looking quality. Let's take a look right here. It's amazing, dude. I, I kid you not, it is amazing. This, <laughs> this new thing, I'm blown away at what kind of quality you can get out of this, out of streaming off of a 970 rather than your CPU. And my CPU usage while I'm recording with this uh, this preset is, uh, this encoder is mind blowing to me. I will make sure to find a place where I can upload this video so you guys can get the raw file that I recorded with from OBS and directly download and preview it. Well, I guess I edited it in DaVinci Resolve. Anyways, it doesn't matter, but I'm gonna give you guys the rawest of files so you guys can really go through on your own if you choose to, to really pixel peek everything. Now on the left, you're gonna see the new encoder and on the right, you're gonna see the encoder that I use to stream with today. So here's some gameplay from a game called Apex, just kind of new released. And uh, right off the bat, you're gonna see some detail between the two that are a little bit different. And what I want you to do is keep an eye on the gloves. So when I come in here and install, really look at the differences between the white and the red. You see that really harsh edge there, and it's able to render that better than X264, which I thought was very interesting. Now, as we go down this hill and we slide, you're gonna start to see it pause here for a second, and you're gonna see the little pixels differentiate uh, between the two sides. You see a little bit more squares on the left and a little less squares on the right, and it gets a little bit more blurred. So we continue on here, watch the grass, and uh, as I slide through, start to look at that metal grating, okay? the metal grating on the right here. And when it pauses, you can kind of see a little bit more detail in the X264 version on the right. And also if you look in on the map, you see it kind of looks similar, but textures start to get a little bit muddy and they get kind of thrown together in a weird way that's not perfectly accurate. Um, another thing I noticed was in the distance, uh, textures on the, the mountains and whatnot looked a little more sharp from one to the other and it kept trading back and forth and I was actually pretty confused by this. Um, so as we continue to go through here, I ended up running up this mountain. I throw a nade, I throw a Molotov, uh, or whatever they're called, a thermite nade. And as I, uh, so we jump ahead here and now we're going to start running towards the map and I'll be able to kind of zoom in as I'm rushing forward. I wanted to kind of like take a moment and look at it as a, just like a still image. So I start to zoom in here. You can see a little bit more sharpness in between the letters on the right hand side. It's very subtle, but then as I go up, things look about the same. It's kind of hard to tell the difference between the two. I'll let you guys judge it by yourself. Um, and as I, uh, I'm here, I kind of wiggle the camera to kind of see if I see any artifacting pop up. And something I saw weird right there, if, uh, if I go back, so one thing that I end up seeing coming up here after these two images look fairly similar is when I wiggle my camera and I end up whipping a 180 around uh, in the game, you look at the detail on the, the sand on the ground. When I flick over here to the right, look at them. So you start to see, like you see these little blurry weirdness uh, things happen. Um, and here we start to zoom in. You start to look at like contrast and detail and everything like that. Really look, pay attention to the 14 and the 18. You see how the 14 has a little bit more color uh, chromatic issues in the left side, uh, the NVNC new is a little bit more uh, clear. So, so we end up switching on over to PUBG to kind of get a sense of uh, how the image looks and uh, you can kind of see the left hand side and you look at the road and you look at just kind of all the details of how much the pixels are blurring together you look towards the sky and when you look at the sky you might see a little of um some blockage and some weird uh issues going on whereas you don't really see that on the x264 version as much so this is where the x26 version uh, comes out on top a little bit and I tried to recreate this video on both of these as as best as I possibly could but I end up messing up a little bit here so bear with me as uh, the videos aren't perfectly matched up I just recorded these both raw and try to match my movements um so start to look at the look uh look at the road you start to see how the textures kind of blur together the road is kind of like it looks like the road's not really moving at times and um on the right hand side things look pretty good 
um but you're really going to start to see some weirdness coming up in the next part when i'm running through the grass so again take a look at the clouds and you're going to start to see some some weird artifacts in the sky itself whereas the cpu is able to render those clouds a little bit better um and again this could be due to the 970 gpu that i have in my uh, my my stream pc but i'm not 100 sure yet i need to do another test i have a 1080 in my game rig i might swap it over and just do a test and just kind of see what else can happen so here i'm going to start running through the grass and really look at the detail or the 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 difference in between the hoodie and the grass you're going to see a little bit more pixelation here and there on uh, the NVNC, but then things start to turn a little weird. As I pause the video here, we end up zooming in on the armpit and the back, and you really start to see that detail. That line in the back is very, it's a lot more crisp on the left-hand side, the new encoder. And then, you know, I, I started to watch a little more, and I get to this little ramp here, and I end up jumping off, and something very strange happens. Look at the detail in the grate. We're gonna go ahead and zoom in on the grate so you guys can kind of see a little pixel peak the, the areas and the edges and whatnot you kind of see they're kind of similar but what really blew my mind and i still don't understand why this happens is i'm gonna jump off this edge here and you're gonna notice something weird happen what is happening on the right hand side i don't quite understand it's so much more pixelated but then when they come to a rest everything looks pretty similar so i stared at that for i stared at that for I want to say 10 minutes trying to understand it and I still don't fully understand why it got so pixelated right there towards the end. Um, that's my CPU and I usually don't kind of see that stuff, but it was a very eye-opening experience to see how the GPU rendered that by using some of the uh, little check marks and stuff that are in settings of the NVENC X264 new encoder. So again, I will post this link, so you, or I'll post the link somewhere so you guys can download this video if you want and just look at it yourself. Uh, this is raw footage of me playing the game and then I just put them side by side. Uh, so let me, let me show you guys exactly what I'm talking about here inside of OBS. Now, those settings, again, when you open up your OBS, uh, you're going to go over to your settings and you're going to go over to the output and uh, this is where your encoder is. So you're going to go ahead and click on X264. And in that video, I had this set to 8400 because that's the bit rate I was streaming at and have been streaming at. I click this and I end up going to max quality. Uh, I believe as you go down this, you're gonna lose out on some quality as you end up going more for performance for your machine. Um, and I think what you want is if you have a dedicated stream PC, max quality is gonna get you the max quality. Uh, profile leave set to high. The look ahead as I click on this, uh, you're gonna see it's gonna enable these things called dynamic B frames. Um, if disabled, the encoder will always use the number of B frames specified by the max B frame settings. That's down here. Um, so I ended up checking that and setting the max B frames to four. If enabled, it will increase the visual quality by only using however many B frames are necessary up to the maximum at the cost of increased GPU utilization. So it's going to, it's going to increase your visual quality. I'm not really sure what it's doing to increase that quality. But when I had it on versus not on, I saw a little bit of a difference, and I think having it on is good. Um, so then also you have psycho visual tuning, which, uh, again, I'm not really super sure on, but it says enables encoder settings to optimize the use of bitrate for increased perceived visual quality. I don't really know what that means. Then it's, it goes on to say, especially in situations with high motion. Uh, at the cost of increased GPU utilization. So it's saying like if there's a lot of grass on screen, you're playing PUBG or H1Z1 or something like that with a lot of textures moving around or maybe you're in a GTA race and there's textures flying by all the time, it's going to try to alleviate any kind of issues uh, or pixelization or anything like that. It's going to try its best at the cost of using your GPU more to stream with. So keep in mind, like think of the GPU as a CPU. Don't think of it as... Uh, you are only gaming on the GPU. Now you are streaming on it too. So you're going to have to like, you're going to have to weigh it out. If you're a single PC user, you're going to have to weigh out your options and kind of maybe dial down the settings a little bit if you want to achieve a uh, really good quality. But if you have a dedicated stream PC and you don't have the money to purchase, you know, a thread ripper or something with insane amount of cores that can really just maximize and get yourself all the way to the slowest preset and get the best performance. And then you're going to need a, a really good liquid cooler and everything like that. This is going to give you an option to have a very run-of-the-mill GTX uh, card or maybe uh, AMD or so. I don't know, uh, whatever kind of card you want to go with. But 
I tested this with a GTX 970. A 970 is pretty old at this point. I got that, that GPU back in like 2016, 2017. And um, that was recorded using that GPU. And you can see just how good that quality is compared to my $1,800 CPU when I bought that new, uh, the, the 6950X versus that 970, which probably cost me maybe 400 bucks. And it came with like a free uh, copy of Borderlands 2. Like uh, it's a very easy, easy call there. So this was designed mostly, this new feature was mostly designed for RTX cards, I think, um, and utilizing the processor in the, the, the RTX cards, but I'm not using that here and I'm still seeing really good effing quality. Like I'm all about quality. And when I put these two side by side, I was, I, I was mind blown. I like seeing the quality out of a GPU stream or recording blows my mind. So I might take a day coming up here and switch over to this new encoder just to mess around with it. The only thing is like, it's, it's on par with where I'm at now or just underneath or just above. Like it, it kind of, it's there. It's at the same level in my, in, in my opinion, it is at the same level or just a little bit less, um, in terms of quality. Uh, so I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if a better GPU will take care of these settings better or be able to utilize those settings better, but I'm very happy with this GPU. And it's huge for a lot of people that are, uh, have a dedicated stream PC because now you guys probably already have a GTX or some sort of uh, GPU in your, your stream PC already, or maybe have one lying around. You pop that in and just do a test record. You're going to see a massive improvement in quality versus the old NVENC record, uh, encoder. Um, that old NVNC encoder back in the day when I first tested it was awful pixels everywhere. I could not make that encoder look good. It was all about CPU, but now with NVIDIA's updated NVENC X264 new preset encoder on inside of OBS, this opens up a world of opportunity for people to better their own qualities of streams at the cost of using their GPU as opposed to their CPU. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this is huge news for anybody that doesn't have a huge budget in terms of buying a really good CPU to stream off X264 and only has money to purchase uh, a GPU and you know a lower caliber computer. If you know you could probably build a small rig to stream out of, and now with this new encoder, uh, it's going to offer a lot more, maybe even a lot more for laptops or anything like that. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to do a test on my. I got a I, I got a Omen by HP laptop with a, a full size GTX 1070 in there. I'm going to try to do a little stream test on that and check out the quality and maybe I'll post that video as well. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. If you guys want to come check out the channel, I'm live Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern. Come on out, dude. Uh, people, I've been noticing more people coming from this YouTube series, so I appreciate you guys watching it. And I just wanted to make videos so that I can help somebody else out there. Um, but stay tuned because we got more videos coming out. I got something on the Go XLR. I might have already uh, posted it or I might be posting it. And uh, I got some other stuff as well about capture cards and Twitch etiquette and some other stuff. So thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. Sub to the channel um, because it helps me out. If I can grow this YouTube channel, I'll start dedicating my time more towards getting YouTube video content out there for people rather than just, you know, once in a blue moon. It's been a while since I posted my last video. So I want to make sure that you guys are happy as subscribers. I don't want to make... I don't want to be just a folder off on the side on your YouTube browser as like, ah, oh, this guy is still here, but no videos, huh? So like, I want to make more content, but you know, you gotta, there's gotta be some sort of worth, you know what I mean? Anyways, but I appreciate you guys watching. Give it a like, give it a dislike, whatever you guys want to do, leave a comment down below. And what I'll end up doing is uh, every comment that I see, I end up reading through everything. And if you, if you message me about a question, comment, concern, anything like that, I'm going to, directly respond to you and I'll try to do it as fast as humanly possible. I think the longest I've taken is maybe a week on a comment to respond to just because I get lost and sidetracked and whatnot. But the majority of the time I wake up in the morning and I click open YouTube on my phone and I just read through the comments. So if you guys have comments on there, I'll respond to you. Uh, if you have a question, come to my Twitch channel, ask me in my chat. Uh, so I'm terrible at looking at chat sometimes. So just, you know, spam it if you want. <laughs> um, and let a mod know that I'm just, you're, you're coming from YouTube and you know, whatever. Um, if not, whatever, just come say hi regardless. And I'll say hi back. And you can ask me about my cats or lighting or cameras or whatever you want. I I'm, I'm open. I'm open. I'm an open book for you, man. So thank you guys for, for checking me out. Appreciate it. Monday through Friday, 10 AM to 6 PM Eastern. Uh, I live in Brooklyn. So yeah, come check me out sometime. And if not, don't worry about it, dude. I'm just glad you got some sort of information out of this. Um, try to make these videos just simple. You know what I mean? So goodbye <laughs> till next time.